Yes, hello, Suda. Hi. Hi. <clears throat> Just want to make sure I understood this and then ask my question. Um, the reality of movement is stillness. Is that, am I right in saying or thinking that's what I heard you yes. say? Yes, right? Yeah. The reality of movement is stillness. Yes, the, you heard correctly. Yes. <clears throat> so I'm trying to test this experientially. Yes, yes, yes. So first, let's just explore the understanding. Uh, okay. Further. Now, uh, when we say the reality of movement, we the, the key word is reality. Mm -hmm. and, uh, a reality that moves is a reality that changes. If it moves, it's moving in time and space. So a reality that moves is a changing reality. So if we say the reality of movement is a movement, it doesn't make sense because a movement doesn't refer to another movement. A movement refers to non-movement. Otherwise, we would not speak of movement. So there is a the the reference point. You know, from the point of stillness, we can perceive the movement. We can say, okay, the movement is appearing from the non-movement. So the key thing to understand about reality, whenever we use the term reality, we're referring to that which is and cannot be, that which is not in time and space, that which is not changing across time and space, that which is not subject to conditions, that is that which is not subject to laws, but that which is the law, if one could say that, speak it that way, but it's not subject to to the laws of physics or the or the law of uh, of proportionalities or the law of uh, conditionalities, uh, effect, cause and effect. Yes? Yes. So because our entire uh, inquiry, our the, the 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 heart of satsang is interest in truth, interest in reality. Because what is the other option? If you're not interested in reality, the other option is you're interested in partial reality or non-reality. Or you, 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 <laughs> so there is no compromise around that. Either you're interested in reality or you're interested in narratives. And I have nothing against narratives, but just to be clear about what it is, what is our interest, okay? So I define the interest of uh, my interest and the interest of the, 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 this, this, this process of, uh, of inquiry is an interest in reality and not in world body mind, which is fine because physics and other sciences are studying, are interested in um, phenomena in, in 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 classifying, understanding, uh, peeling the onion in 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 the phenomenal realm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, so that's an important understanding that there is our interest is in reality, and reality is not a concept. Of course, there is a concept reality, but I'm talking about. Reality, the reality that we, trust, that we are interested in is not a concept. So we can have a discussion about, well, various philosophies or, or various point of views about reality. No, we're interested in reality factually, experientially, and not, not simply discursively. So in our experience, which brings me, which brings me to our experience, because where where the, the the rubber meets the road is now is is, yes. is, now, is now so so therefore our interest is in reality now in reality now so therefore to our direct experience right now and there is nobody that has uh, you know a, a trump card on somebody else's experience we have our our the full trump card on our own experience we we are the experiencer of our experience we it makes no sense therefore to refer to our rabbi our guru our mom our dad or our teacher 
in order to 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 uh, refer to our experience. And our experience, well, it's very clear. In our experience, there is movement and non-movement. There is the perceptions and the thoughts, the sensations, and that we're very clear about that. We've been uh, we've discussed that, and we're aware of that which are images on the screen, but then there's also awareness. There's also that same non-changing awareness of uh, thoughts, sensations, perceptions. It's the same awareness, whether you're perceiving uh, a, a snowstorm, or you're perceiving sunshine, or you're looking at the lake or at the mountain, it's the same awareness that is... Uh, that is. So, so there is a non-moving, the non-changing aspect of your experience, which is... Uh, which is uh, awareness. So when we say the, there is movement and there is the reality of the movement, we're referring to our images on the screen, which is the movement, and there is the non-movement. And the non-movement is intricately, in, 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 intrinsically um, non-separate from the movement because it is not possible to have a movement Mm -hmm. Apart from awareness, awareness is always there. The perceiving aspect, the perceiving element, is on board, a hundred percent on board, uh, as the song of the bird, or as you're watching the wind, you know, moving the leaves, you know, in the tree. And so it is. So there is those two experiences, meaning that which appears, that which moves, and awareness. In fact, there experientially they're one because you cannot perceive you cannot separate your perception right now this perception that you're, you're experiencing you cannot separate it from awareness try agreed because right now i'm not even i'm hearing your words okay this is my this moment the perception of hearing your words is happening and I'm aware of it. And you cannot remove it from your awareness. Yeah, if the awareness wasn't there, I wouldn't be aware of it. So <laughs> not just that. It <clears throat> that's the basically it's like the container in which the contents keep changing, or the uh, it's like it's the only, oh, for lack of a better word, it's the only place or only. surface in which I'm aware of everything. Yes. You cannot remove yeah. the screen or you cannot remove the container and still have something contained. Agreed. Agreed. Yes. Uh, so yeah, you can't remove the screen and see the image. You know, the screen is there even if whether you so so when we when when you say the reality of the content is the container is the way I'm I'm just the way my mind is thinking of this, right? Um, yeah, the container has to exist for the content to be aware or understood, heard, felt. Yes. Experienced. Yes. So you cannot remove. That is the absolutely needed for something else, for this changing phenomenon to be available for my experience this non-changing awareness has is is always that that i am very clear i've checked it checked it checked it it's always that it's never gone and whether there's content or not it's there um so where i got stuck with this this the word reality so that's why i think you explained it well so this that without which this cannot exist. And hence we call the reality of this changing thing to be the non-changing awareness. Yes. Is that? Yes, yes. Okay. That, that which is and cannot not be is, is always on. It's, yes. it's always on, which is reality. Or we say being, sometimes we use the word, yeah, yeah being slash reality is sort of, you know, uh, it, it 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 cannot not be being cannot not be. Isness can 
cannot not 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 be the screen yes so the screen or the container as you said i mean yes the container in a way that's a different way of speaking it yes so anything that we experience any anything we experience is movement that that which we experience is 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 a movement is a flow i mean one we could class we could speak about about it that way of course keep in mind that that words are are tools okay they're, they're tools there isn't there's nothing absolute in the world, but it, but it serves a purpose. So everything we experience is 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 a, is a movement, and it, and any movement cannot be without the non-movement. It can it cannot outside, if awareness is not there, which is a ridiculous thing to say. But anyways, I said it. <laughs> if awareness is not there, the, the the river won't, the mountain won't be there, the river won't be there. So the, the reality of the mountain, the reality of, of your perception, the reality of your sensation, the reality of your thoughts, the reality of 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 your of your of your of your, uh, of your, your, your bodily sensations is is consciousness, is awareness. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So 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 that's 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 really that's very important to understand because because then what we are saying is that. The whole phenomenal realm, what what we call phenomenal, what at the mind level we say phenomenal or material or matter, whichever we speak it, what we're saying is that the entire realm of phenomena, phenomena, its reality, is is noumenal. Is it, the reality that which is the essence of of your experience is noumenal, is non-phenomenal, right? And and that's. The sense of self. When you, when you say I have a sense of self, we all experience a sense of self. Is the sense of that noumenal, the, that noumenal reality. Why? Because the reality knows itself, and that's I know it's very. That's sometimes when I share that, it the mind freezes. Says, what do you mean? You know, I know the mountain. I know the river. I know my mother. I know my car is in the garage. What do you mean by? Reality knows itself. I, I I I cannot explain it or or prove it to you, but you no, know, I have no doubts. I exist. Okay, there is. Yeah, I yeah, have zero doubt me. about it. Okay. I have uh, zero doubt about the permanent yes. existence. That, that, of that. Yes, beautiful. Yes, that you exist and that you know that you exist. So the this 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 existence knows itself. <laughs> right, right. So so that what we've actually. What we actually shared is that your entire experience is actually awareness knowing itself. Through different forms. It, oh, yeah, through different through the senses or 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 without any senses, you know, the, the yeah. I know I am. I, and I know I know. Yeah. I know I am and I know I know is there, there are no forms, no. Yes. You know, when I experience the phenomenal world, I somehow make it like there is I and then a experience of the world. As though, so that, that's where the reality becomes important because everything, if I perceive the reality of every experience I have is I. Yes, because you cannot experience the non-reality of something. Uh, what would it what would it mean for you to experience the non-reality of the mountain or of a perception? You're always experiencing the reality. In other words, you're always experiencing consciousness because if consciousness is a reality that the container or the screen, or what we said consciousness is is always experiencing itself, as you said in 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 whether in presence of nana rupa or 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 pure, self knowingness existence yeah yes and what happens uh, <laughs> this is a really interesting suda is is that often when we when they're in the presence of perceptions we we overlook that is consciousness knowing itself rather than uh somehow this this understanding is forgotten and we revert back to I hear the mind boss. I'm yeah. perceiving that the world outside over there. Right? So this is why it's important to revisit this discussion. We just had to revisit this discussion so you can 
because it's just a habit. There is a, there is a pattern within the body mind to sort of, it's like you've walked in the woods on the same trail, and then now there is a trail in the forest. When you walk, you walk on the trail <laughs> because this is how the trail. So you, to, 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 to recollect, and, and it's available to us. This, this awareness is you. So you are this awareness. This, this awareness, transparent presence right now is that. It is that it, which, which, <laughs> which you need to recollect, which is funny because you are that and it needs to recollect itself. So it's about self-recollection in a way. Mm. And, and, and a slight adjustment in the, in the interpretation. So when I get angry at something out in the world, I'm getting angry at myself, the expression of my own self. And when I'm happy with something in the world, I'm happy with the expression of the same self. Isn't, is that how then I'm supposed to understand it? Because everything is the expression of the single consciousness, right? Yes, but there is a little bit more to it. Okay. Yeah. The, the answer is yes, but there is more to it, which is, I think it's uh, uh, worth looking at, which is that when you get angry, you cannot ang you cannot get truly, truly angry at yourself. For you to play the game of anger, you have to sort of distance yourself from something and, and get angry at it from a certain distance, you mm -hmm. know? Uh, so in, in, in the game of anger, there is a, a movement away from and taking a position towards something, a, a certain position. It should be different. Uh, they shouldn't have acted towards me in that way, etc. So that's important to understand because this distancing yourself, you know, from from yourself, as you said, uh, it's all, because all is yourself. Distancing yourself from yourself is fiction. Is 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 a habit is unnecessary and an overall if not always an unhappy uh, uh unhappy thing to do for you and for others so it's important to understand yes i agree with you that it's all all the self you're happy with yourself you're angry with yourself yes but i think that that little uh understanding is is important because <sighs> if there was no separation i wouldn't be feeling i i i yes. understand that if the and there is no proof for the separation but i still i believe there is separation and hence the especially in terms of negative emotions there's definitely a sense of separation that i understand completely i, yes. I understand logically and uh, whether i'm aware of it when i'm in the middle of it is a whole different thing but looking back or looking after, I do understand it. Like if there was no separation, there won't be disagreement and negative emotions or negative feelings or feelings of separation. Basically, I am different from whatever the other thing that I'm not yes. happy about or and the situation that I'm not content with. It, it could be a variety of things, but the separation has already happened for this experience yes. that I get. Right. And and to be aware of oh well that's what's going on is a is a healing aspect to that. Mm -hmm. Oh that's what's going on. Oh but yeah. The moment we are aware it's off. It's like a it's a light switch. Okay. The moment I'm aware this is happening. The separation has happened. There's lack of the moment it's like it's instantaneous. I see it. Yes. But in the moment when I don't know originally when the separation happens, but yeah. afterwards, you know, I'm more aware. Well, yeah, we, it's it's not so helpful yeah. to know how it happened. What 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 is more important is uh, uh, the, our interest in awareness, our our interest, because our interest is not in the machine. You know, we know how the machine works. You know, we've we've been this machine has been going on for 40, 50, 70 years. And our interest is not in the factory or in the machine. We're interested in awareness. We're interested in peace and happiness. See, that's the reason I was trying to understand this statement. Like 
So even when I'm aware of the movement, if my understanding that the movement is nothing but the stillness is very, 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 very clear. Yes. There will be less opportunities to get carried away in situations yeah. of moments, right? That's what I was going with. Yes. 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 If like, because there's, there's going to be always movement. That's not something yeah. that gets stopped. Because that's how the phenomenal world works. Everything we perceive, everything, everything, my body, mind, the world. Um, but you so, see, there can be movement, uh, which is the wind and the clouds, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just a movement, right? Uh, there is also, uh, there can also be a witnessing of the movement, which is witnessing is peace. You know, when you're witnessing, you're peace. And there is also uh, a a witnessing from a point of view of ignorance. You can perceive the movement, and but behind the behind the perception, there is a belief, mm. the belief that there is something, something somewhere. That is, I need to safeguard, I need to protect. And so then the witnessing is is okay, but it's there is a guarded, it's a guarded witnessing. Because you you're there, you, there is behind the scene, there is something you need to protect. So you have to you're 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 on your guard, you see. So it's important to comprehend that the buck stops right here with awareness there isn't anything behind that's you need to protect and that awareness doesn't need protection eh? you need to protect uh, your house so you lock it when you go you need to protect your bank account so you put your money in the bank, whatever. But not awareness. Awareness doesn't need protection. So the box stops there, stops with you, awareness. Then, yes, the movement is the wind, the wind, the sunshine, the heartbeat, the temperature of the body, hunger, etc. then everything will become totally impersonal then, right? There won't be any more. Everything is just like the clouds in the sky or impersonal activity it, going on where the, there is no... Yes, because... Agenda. There is no agenda. Right, there's no personal agenda. It's all God's play. And love is impersonal. And that's what we love. When I love you for a, good, for a certain reason, for my personal reasons, uh, I don't know. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> We love the impersonal is what we love. You know, we love, you know, like I used to live on the East Coast and there used to be these uh, snowstorms, you know, in, in the winter. And I loved it when there were snowstorms because everybody would come out from their houses because in the U.S., you know, you live in the U.S., people, they, they don't know each other too much. It's isolation. But everybody would come out and they push each other's cars and help each other. And it's completely impersonal because... They could just be taking care of their own. Uh, I love that. And, and everybody sort of felt, you know, it, it was like a festive thing, you know. But anyways, I'm getting distracted. But yes, uh, impersonal. Yeah, yeah, impersonal. Impersonal. Huh? Yes? Huh? Yes? Si je peux dire quelque chose à un moment okay. donné quand t'as fini, hein? Okay, so okay. When you're finished. Okay, okay, she went, uh, So... Right. Mm -hmm. I just was saying that the impersonal is, is yes. Love is always impersonal is what you were trying to drive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's yes. the real love. Yeah. Not yes. the love we see yeah. in movie scenes. Right. And the romance stories. Yeah. The true love is, that's the, I mean, the true love is just love for the reality or the consciousness that's common between us. It's just that that's what the true the love that's felt is pure consciousness. Yes. Not, it's absolute. There's absolute. nothing. Yeah. 
even when it is misconstrued as a love between mother and child, but the true it comes from the source. Exactly. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank so you. Fine. Mm -hmm.